Next question is from Junin87. What are your views on cleansing or fast days? Cleansing or fast days? I don't like the the terminology. Mm, uh, yeah, like here's the the value of fasting is this. Okay, the, the main values of fasting is this, uh, and I know that there's studies that show that it benefits the body, and you get uh, cell autophagy, and you get you know neurogenesis. Now and- all that happens with a low calorie yeah. diet too, by the way. So you don't need to necessarily fast for all of that. But here's the real benefits. Okay. Really, it's it's and for the right people, not everybody, but for the right people, it helps you uh, develop a better relationship with food. Really, helping you detach from something that we tend to have a bad relationship with. So, for example, if you did a forty-eight hour okay. fast, and again, it needs to be the uh, appropriate for you. If your issues are that you tend to starve yourself, fasting will make things worse. But if it's right for you, let's say you fast for forty-eight hours. And in that 48-hour period, you feel stressed like you normally do or you're bored like you normally do or you want to distract yourself or whatever. You're not eating. Now you're becoming more aware of how you tend to snack or eat when you're bored or stressed or at certain times. Now you know how to deal with feeling cravings. Cravings are very different from hunger and you can start to identify those things. So it can help with your attachment to food. It can help with your relationship to food. This is why fasting is present in every major world religion, why it's Mm -hmm. present in most spiritual practices, not for the fat loss or weight loss effects, but rather for the, you know, for lack of a better term, the spiritual uh, benefits. But as far as helping the body, I mean, uh, maybe for like specific uh, cases, but otherwise, no, I wouldn't recommend anybody fast to cleanse their body. Yeah. I, I mean, I, th- I think it's good to mechanistically to uh, take a, take a break and let your digestive system, uh, y- you know, sort Chill of out. Yeah. Just to have time to, uh, you know, like, like function without uh, bombarding it and inundating it all the time with food. And, I, and again, like this is, I, all those values that you brought up in, in terms of, of being able to reflect and, and have all the cognitive benefits and, um, you know, step away from the ritual of food too. Like, I think, I mean, all that is, is the main benefits you're going to get from fasting. I just, I hate calling it detoxing because I know there's a lot of uh, products and things. They even brought up isogenics, which I was familiar with. Like some of my clients were always asking me about that. And it's like this solution that they're trying to sell to basically like, you know, get all the, the quote unquote toxic, uh, chemicals and elements, uh, out of your body while you're going through this. Uh, really the, the main benefit is, is, uh, you know, it's just stepping away and having, uh, you know, those, those other benefits that you'd mentioned earlier. I have a very specific way that I use fasting with clients and it's, and I don't use it for everybody. Um, and I don't use it with somebody who's just starting with me. Uh, most clients that are are just getting started uh, with a diet and a training program, like we're we're learning what all the foods are and, and macronutrients and figuring out where their caloric maintenance is at. And most every client that I've ever taken, very rarely am I not trying to uh, speed their metabolism up by in increasing their caloric intake and adding good foods to their diet. So much of what I do at the beginning, no matter what your goal is, even if it's weight loss, I'm adding to your diet at first, uh, and then I use fasting to interrupt like us being regimen for a long time. So let's say you've been training with me for six months and the first three months was a lot of education and consistency and figuring out your body and where you're at and get you to understand what carbs, fats, and proteins are and what what a good day of eating looks like you, bad day of eating looks like for you, like, and then being, con- and then stringing some consistent weeks and maybe months together of dieting correctly and eating well. And then I like to interrupt that. Right, so now that they get it, they 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 get the importance of getting all these macros in and being consistent with the way they eat. Then I like to just like take it away from them and say, okay, now we're gonna on Friday we're gonna fast for 24 hours, and then it, and it's literally for the purpose that Sal is talking about, which is to just I want to first train you on how how important it is for you to get all these foods and be consistent with it, and then I also want to interrupt that by showing you that listen, you don't have to always be eating all these foods. Let's completely not have anything. And start to understand what real hunger is like, because a lot of time people think they're hungry when a craving kicks up every two to three hours and detach from that. That is the only way I'm using it. I'm never using it for a, we need to detox your body, or this may help us lose some more body fat, or none of the things, and all the ways that they promote fasting and all the all the benefits that, that come with it, I don't use it for those reasons. It's simply to interrupt 
as somebody who's been training con- or eating and dieting consistently. And that normally looks like a competitor for me. It's rarely an average person. Most people, I would spend most of my time trying to get them to be consistent with their eating and be consistent with the things that we're trying to do and just throwing a day of fasting at that person who hasn't even strung two weeks together of eating you know, similar type macros. Uh, I don't see a lot of value in interrupting that with a, with a fast. I do, though, when I would get a competitor who is like, you know, for the last year, they've been eating the same foods and they eat every two hours. And they're like, so they feel like if they don't eat that they're going to lose muscle and they have, or they, they'll never be able to build unless they're hitting these exact targets every day. And they have this, this crazy attachment to food. Those are the people that I see the most value to, to do a fast with. Now I've also heard though, too, like one of my, well, somebody that I, you know, it, I hang out with every now and then. He was telling me he was doing like sort of like a cleanse, but it was all just like a lot of fiber. And he would, he would like every now and then intermittently throughout the year, he would do like this, uh, uh, an excessive amount of fiber to try and clear out all the shit in his body. Yeah. It's not, it's okay. It's not like a chimney, you know, yeah. you, you know, it's not like, or like pipes, you know, where you think, oh, I got to flush something through here to clean out all the pipes. It's not really how it works. Right. So this terminology is all marketing kind of terminology. Yeah. The cleansing effect that you may get from a fast is just cleansing you of your maybe bad attachment to food. Um, so it's more of a mental thing uh, than anything. But if you're one of those people that, you know, if you, if your bad relationship to food is skipping meals and not eating, you know, I've worked a, a worst, lot of, yeah, it's a worst oh yeah, yeah it's, it's, they call that starving yourself. Terrible, terrible idea. Absolutely. 